Do you wake up in the morning and you look at your closet full of clothes, but you have nothing to wear? I know, we all know the feeling, right? So today I'm going to give you some closet tips and I'll tell you why you don't have nothing to wear. Recuritas, welcome to my channel, to this Kelly Mask 2017, which is very awkward the name, but it's okay. Vlogmas 2017, one more day closer to Christmas Day. I'm very happy because today it's a very important video because I know that we all have gone through the bad experience of looking at your closet full of shoes, clothes, accessories, and a million things, and you feel like you have nothing, nothing, nothing to wear. I know the feeling and today I'm gonna tell you why this happens and how you can kind of solve this problem. So stay tuned and keep watching until the end and you will never, never, ever again have this problem. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to do it right now because you know, we're doing Vlogmas 2017 so you don't wanna miss any videos so we can share a lot of experiences together. Remember, you can always hit me up on any of my social medias at Kelly B. Sanchez. You can also leave me a comment, concern, if you just want to say hi or, I don't know, post a picture on Instagram and tag me. I will be very, very happy to hear from you and to go back to you and reply because I do read all the comments. So with this being said, let's start. When you have nothing to wear, here I am with some wonderful tips to help you out. First thing first, you know why you have nothing to wear? Usually the main reason is because clothes don't fit you. Yes, either they're too big or too small or maybe you don't even like them anymore, you haven't worn them for years, but the truth is that they don't fit you at all. Or maybe they are simply just too old. I know we all love things that we wanna keep forever, but let's be real, just storage somewhere. And this takes us to the step of cleaning up our closet. If you clean up your closet, you will be surprised how many things you will find that they don't fit you anymore, they're damaged, or they're broken, they, I mean, you cannot wear them anymore or whatever. Maybe you don't even like them at all. Gifts, presents, things you've gone shopping for that you never maybe even had an idea you had it. So the first thing is to clean up your closet and realize what things don't fit you anymore. If they don't fit you, just throw them away, give it to the poor people, somebody who can need it, go take them to church, do something nice with it, or I don't know, a jar sale, sell them online, I don't know, but just remove those pieces from your closet. The most important thing I would say is ask yourself this question. Is this piece of clothing, pair of shoes, or whatever accessory I have, is it something I would wear now, I would wear today, do I like it? Would I wear it right now? If the answer is yes, keep it. If the answer is no, don't keep it. Of course, be real and be honest. If you say yes, make sure it fits you. Of course, that's the first thing. So clean up your closet and possibly 50% of your problem of having nothing to wear is gonna be solved. Another reason is that maybe you, when you go shopping, you keep buying the same kind of stuff. For example, you get to have like 10 black t-shirts or exact same five different jeans, which are, they look pretty much the same or whatever. So you don't have much variety. Since we already said that we're gonna clean up our closets, make a list of the things you really need and the things you need to be away of because you know, there are some things that you shouldn't be buying at all. So if you're gonna go shopping, do it like a smart shopping. Yeah, buy whatever you think you need, but make a list, being real after cleaning up your closet. After cleaning up your closet and getting the stuff you need or you want, the third thing is, of course, put an outfit together. If you don't have any idea of how to do that, well, look for some inspiration. Nowadays, it's so simple and so easy. You can just Google it, Pinterest, Instagram, I mean, pictures all over, celebrities, magazines. Just have the inspiration. Realize that you can replace those different pieces with pieces you own and make your own outfit. It's gonna be just amazing when you see that you have like a million different options with the stuff you actually have. And in that sense, you will have, of course, more options and more outfits to wear. 
now that you know and you've kind of got the inspiration, put the outfit together. A good idea is to plan ahead. You can plan ahead not only your shopping adventure, but you can also plan ahead like the night before what you're gonna wear the next day, which is pretty much something really amazing. And if you have like a lot of time one day, you can just try to put different outfits together, try them on, look how they look on you and take a picture. Save those looks so you have them very handy and when you need to change looks and make some outfits, you know, put them together, you already have those pics either in your phone or maybe post them on Instagram. That's a nice way to do it, print them out, but have them there very handy so you know what outfits you've already put together and you can kind of wear whenever you need for different occasions. Shopping, we all love shopping, especially for Christmas time. We do a lot of shopping, most of the time not for ourselves, but in real life when we go shopping all year long, it's for ourselves. So, girl, have you ever wondered if what you're getting actually can be worn or you can match it with whatever you have in your closet? Yes, smart shopping. Don't waste your money, don't waste your time. You want to have ideas, inspiration. When you get something, then ask yourself if at home you have something that you can kind of match it with so it can be wear all together. If you don't at all, you have two options. Either you don't get that thing or you get some stuff that you can use to put an outfit together. But never just go shopping like crazy, you know, picking things that you don't even know what you're gonna wear that with. That is like lifesaver when you don't wanna have that I have nothing to wear problem. And the last one is a very closet tip. That's how you call it. Well, whatever. This closet tip is amazing and this will really help you to never get rid of ideas when you have to pick an outfit. And it is put the pieces that you want to use as an outfit together in your closet. Even though I love organizing my closet by colors and type of clothes like jeans together, all pink sweaters together and I don't know, black jackets together. If you are kind of lacking of inspiration, the best thing is after you, you've done all that we've already said, you got the inspiration, you put outfits together, you took pictures, then when you're gonna put those clothes back in your closet, put them together, put all the pieces, this jean with this t-shirt, with this jacket, they go together so when you have to wear them, you know that you already had them you know, together and they look good and blah and blah. So trust me, it's gonna be so much fun. After a while, you can find your own way to organize your closet without really having to go and separate the pieces like that. Well, this has been all for today. I hope you find these tips very, very, very useful because trust me, if you follow my advice, you will never go through that I have nothing to wear problem again. Make sure you organize your closet, you clean it up, and if you're gonna go shopping, now you know how to go with smart shopping. So, Rigoritas, this was all for today. Thank you so much for watching, my queens. I love you very much. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, hit me up on my social media, and see you tomorrow in another Kelly Mouse video. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>